Hi, everyone. I'm Stenio Gardel, and uh, this is from A Palavra Que Resta. Raimundo Gaudêncio de Freitas, traço incerto, arredio ao toque do papel, lápis danado, domado, e ele escrevia o nome completo pela primeira vez. 71 anos e essa invenção, como ele diz, de aprender a ler e escrever depois de velho. Raimundo não foi difícil. Complicado era Gaudêncio, denso de saudade, as cinco vogais se acentuado. Freitas era feito de sangue. A vontade tinha sim, desde menino, mas o pai lhe dizia que a letra era para menino que não precisava encher o próprio prato. Raimundo foi cedo para a lida. De noite, o braço ritmado no golpe da foice pedia descanso, que no outro dia tinha mais. O intento de aprender se rendeu à precisão. O futuro estava escrito na frente dele, era o presente do pai, pai de família, dono de um pedaço de chão, assinando com o dedo quando a palavra falada não bastasse. O que não podia ser falado, ficasse palavra muda, pensamento. Raimundo não virou pai de família, nem dono de sítio. Se arrancou as raízes, levando no bolso da camisa a carta. Uma carta inteira, uma palavra seguindo a outra. Quantas palavras? Mandar carta para uma pessoa que não sabia ler, só sendo. A ponta do lápis pairou acima da linha. O próximo nome tinha escrito a carta 52 anos antes. Ao lado do caderno, o envelope encruado, sempre fechado. Raimundo não deixou ninguém ler e envelheceu com o desejo de saber o que ela diz, crescendo dentro dele. Feto idoso, rebento tardio, a carta guardava uma vida inteira. Thank you. Hello, uh, this is from the words that remain. Raimundo Gaudêncio de Freitas, in a tentative stroke, barely touching the paper, he tamed that damn pencil and wrote for the first time his full name. 71 years old and he starts getting ideas, as he likes to say, about learning to read and write as an old man. Raimundo came easy, but Gaudêncio was complicated dense with longing, with its five vowels and an accent, Freitas was made of blood. Not for lack of wanting, ever since he was a boy, but his father said writing was for people who don't need to put food on the table. Raimundo went to work young. At night, his arm, tuned to the rhythm to, of the scythe, needed rest. There was more the next day. His desire to learn slowly gave way to need. His future was written out in front of him, a gift from his father, a family man who owned a bit of land, who signed with a thumbprint when his word wasn't enough. What couldn't be said was kept silent, a thought. Raimundo never became a family man or owned any land. He pulled up his roots, carrying the letter in his shirt pocket. A whole letter, one word after another, how many of them? sending a letter to someone who can't read, imagine that. The tip of the pencil hovered over the line. The next name was the one of the person who'd written the letter 52 years ago. Next to the notebook, the hardened envelope still sealed. Raimundo never let anyone read it, and it grew old, and he grew old wishing to know what it said. The desire growing with him, an elderly fetus, late blooming, a lifetime kept in that letter. Thank you.